I think I made a huge mistake. Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards. Welcome back to the new Garage Gym. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about why I may regret moving to this new Garage Gym. Now, this is first world problems. We're still very blessed to have any space, not only to be able to just work out, but also run Stevie Richards Fitness, run the business, and be able to bring review content to you here on YouTube. But there's a few challenges in this new garage gym that I wasn't aware of. The number one reason is really the sticking point to staying in this new garage gym or trying to find a stopgap solution while we are in this rented space. So we're gonna talk about that with a few other things and some plans or possible solutions for the problems, once again, first world problems, that we're having here in the new garage gym. But what I want to talk about too is the fact the space we consolidated from two garage gyms down to one. And we're not sure if even that was a good idea. Not so much for the fact of working out. We have plenty of equipment. Very, very blessed. Like I said before, we're very, very grateful. But running a business, we do want to expand and we do want to bring different kinds of reviews on different products. And of course, with a garage gym or any gym space, it's never done and you never have enough room. So we're kind of weighing whether we're gonna to expand to a second garage gym next door to this one, or if we're gonna make work what we have here, or if we're gonna to move to a completely different space altogether. So our major problem here in the garage gym is electricity, is power. We do not have enough power to run things. Right now, we have the Soul Fitness ST90 over there. We have the Sunstream Saunas Evolve Mini there. We also have a cold plunge. Now, these are never running at the same time, but we have to be very careful. Also, we have LED shop lights. We're going to give you a complete tour of everything right here. And it's going to be real because it's a mess right now. We're just trying to figure things out. We're going to clean things up. We're going to really consolidate or, like I said, expand to have cleaner workout environments and cleaner filming environments as well. But the ST90 seems to be the culprit in each and every situation as far as just shutting off all the power. We actually did a Patreon exclusive update for the Wrestling Analysis channel and it tripped twice. Just the treadmill being on tripped twice and nothing else running. And as a matter of fact, after about 22, 23 minutes just on the treadmill, it shuts completely off and most times all the lights go off and I need to trip the breaker again to turn everything back on. So this here, this treadmill is overloading everything and I'm not quite sure what to do because it is a great treadmill, but it's drawing a great deal of power here in the garage gym. So we are gonna put up the power consumption specs of the ST90. Like I said, I believe this is the main culprit and also a portable space heater that we try to run with or without the treadmill, no way, it trips everything. Even if the heater is running alone, it just trips everything. And I think it's up to 1500 watts for just a portable heater. It's not a big deal. It's one of those kind of tower heaters and it just cannot run, it cannot run. We can run a fan, but we can't run a fan as we're running the sauna and the treadmill. And we can't run the fan sometimes with the treadmill alone. Once again, I believe the ST90 is gonna be the main culprit, but like I said, a $4,000 treadmill and having these kinds of issues is, is kind of don't know what to do. We could get an assault runner, which is an off-grid solution, but then again, right then, we maybe should have went in that direction to begin with, but my wife and I wanted something with incline and also speed and power and stuff like that, and the ST90 was a great solution. Well, at least, when we want to get it. So here is our power solution for the problem. We have an outdoor multi-plug outlet right there from Amazon. And what we're doing is we have the LED shop lights and here's the cord right here. By the way, we're gonna show some potential solutions and it's going up into the lights. And then we have an extension cord here that runs down and this runs into the multi-plug outlet. That's pretty much an extension cord of that multi-plug gets 25 feet and we're up here. We're gonna climb up the ladder and show you what we have, but it's that one plug. That's it right there, that one plug. And unfortunately, that's the one thing we regret from the previous garage gym because as we go around here where the mirror is, there was a plug right on the back wall here 
on the other garage, Jim, and then we did have the one on the ceiling. So we cut our outlets in half, our available power sources in half. But once again, we don't know if the overhead's the same in this as the other carriage house garage that we had, but having it back there was definitely great, especially with these lights. Let's take a closer look at the lights and talk about uh, what we think might be a solution, at least up there. All right, this is a little scary climbing this ladder, but up here you see we have two outlets, one's in the garage door opener, and the other here is going to right there, the extension cord. Now, what I want to do maybe, at least if we stay here, is get a multi-plug outlet and plug that into an outlet that has a remote. Then I don't need to run, see right there, I don't need to run the shop lights all the way down to there. Um, the extension cord will still have to be there, but if I can hook it up to where there's remotes plugged in up here and I just have a power strip. But once again, we're talking about the overhead. And I even have another set of lights because it's quite dark back here if I shoot from there. And I have another set of the Barina T5 LED shop lights, but I'm not sure, these are excellent lights by the way, I'm not sure if it's going to trip it because we just have, we have to be aware of power and we wanna live more off grid. We wanna get a cabin in the woods or some kind of house where we're self-sufficient, running off solar, doing stuff like that. And it, this is a great lesson to be able to be learned here before we embark on that quest, on that journey to live more self-sufficiently. We have to be aware of how much power everything uses. As a matter of fact, we might have another solution, a stopgap one, uh, just stick with me at the end and we'll figure it out. But the, here, it'd be great aesthetically to have that running just up in the ceiling and not have these extension cords, but we're still gonna have, I believe, the power output and bandwidth limitation issues. By the way, if we get to 100,000 subscribers here at Stevie Richards Fitness, I'll take a bump off this ladder. No, no, I'm just kidding. My wife is watching this. She will be very, very angry. My spine is not, even after my spine teases, I'm probably not gonna be taking any bumps off the ladder, at least not for free. So never say never, but we'd love to get to 100,000 subscribers. And uh, no, I got to go for a hundred, well, maybe for a million subscribers, but not 100,000. So here are some potential solutions that we've been considering. The number one thing was earlier I talked about expanding to a second garage. But if we expand the next door, we still have that one outlet in the ceiling and no outlet in the back of the garage. The other solution is to go back, to double back to the same garage gym or gyms that we had before. If they're available, we're considering that because we have two outlets and we did not have the power or electricity bandwidth issues that we had in that one nor the two garage gyms that were in the same area. Another potential solution is one I do not want to do and I don't want to do it to my wife because when we had the home gym, I turned the entire home into a home gym and it, it just got sweaty. It was hard to maintain, hard to keep clean. It was very, very cluttered. And I like having the separate workout space and having our living space there. But one consideration that we talked about just this morning was taking the sauna, putting it in the bedroom, in the corner like we used to have in the last home, and also the cold plunge out on the lanai, which has its own separate electrical outlet for outdoor. And that is a solution, but it's not one that I'm really crazy about doing because it's mixing the workout area with the living area. And I didn't want to do that after we had sacrificed the entire space. Once again, first world problems, so much of a blessing. My wife is a saint for coming up with the idea of turning that apartment into an entire home gym. And it really launched the business in a great direction doing that. Another solution that I'm really heavily considering is getting one of those portable power stations. Since we plan on living off grid or for the most part off grid, having a portable power station, we have Jackery, Blue Eddy, and other companies, Amazon companies as well, where we can plug the treadmill, the sauna, and other items into it when we're using it and then charge it up. And it allows us to move these things around and not be tethered to that. We can take the extension cord off and everything else and run everything we need as we need it on demand with the Jackery or any portable power station. So 
that's a heavy consideration, at least for me. But right now, even with the cyber deals they're having, we're talking about a thousand to three thousand dollars alone for a really great portable power station, that includes solar and all that stuff. So when we do move into an off grid location, we can charge it via solar. But you're really paying a lot of money. So we have to measure are we going to buy once, cry once, or are we going to pay the extra hundred to two hundred dollars a month? for the second garage gym, which opens up a space for more products, more content, more reviews, and stuff like that. So that about does it for this video. What I try to do with this is show you the real stuff, the real struggle. Of course, like I said, first world problems, but be as transparent as possible and give you a kind of behind the scenes look into the business, not only the fitness business, but also my wrestling analysis business, which I love bringing to each and every one of you out there, to subscribers here on YouTube for Stevie Richards Fitness, or like I said, the wrestling channel, Stevie Richards Wrestling Analysis. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, click the bell to get notified. Also, most importantly, comment with any suggestions or help that you might have. I'm not an expert when it comes to this stuff, especially power, electricity, and things like that. So please let me know if you have any solutions. I would love to hear them. And I do thank you in advance for any suggestions. Most importantly, God bless each and every one of you. Have a great day.